The matter is urgent, Lady Josephine. I am well aware of that, revered mother. We will need them to return to Valroyo as soon as possible. There are ceremonies, ordinations. Make us mercy. That's quite impossible at the moment. However, I will see to this matter as soon as possible. My Lady Inquisitor, please, may I have a word with you? Just when you've solved one crisis, another springs up to take its place. I am sorry to place this burden on your shoulders, but you are the only one who can help. With the political turmoil put to rest, our minds turn to a single question. The next divine. We cannot answer it without the left and right hands of divine Justinia V. I have already told you, revered mother. Lady Leliana and Sikar Cassandra cannot be spared from their duties. But surely with the support of the Empire, the Inquisition will not be harmed by the loss of just two souls. Why do you need Liliana and Cassandra? They were Her Holiness's most trusted advisors. They represent her legacy, her hopes for peace in Fadas. They could rally the Grand Clerics to follow as no candidate from the clergy has been able to. I don't understand. What is it you're asking of them? We need them to serve as candidates for the role of divine. Everyone with the political support to succeed Justinia perished alongside her. Those who remain are unable to gather the majority of votes from the conclave of Grand Clerics. They have been deadlocked for too long. Lady Liliana and Seeker Cassandra were Justinia's most trusted friends and advisors. Our late divine is still held in high esteem. To honor her, the Grand Clerics might support one of them as successor. How long does the Chantry need them? Several months, at least. If one of them is crowned divine, she would not be returning to the Inquisition. Josephine has already told you this is impossible. The Inquisitor has only just returned and has important business to attend to. You must excuse us, revered mother. Don't let them detract from your victory at Alam Shiral. We've beaten his wardens and stopped his intrigues. Soon, Corypheus will have no place to hide. Colin is hoping to press our advantage. We'll plan our next attack when you're ready. I've got no problem with Orlesians, but Halam Sharal was a mess. At least under the Hume, you don't get everyone tripping on each other's dicks while the country goes to crap. I hate politics. You've got a crappy job then, boss. One for the Empress. For Gaspar. Brianna. The Duchess. And Corinthians. 
right in the dangle bag. All right, you're clearly annoyed. What can I do? You're doing fine. It's the dead piled up in Halam Sherelle that's nagging at me. A cook here, a footman there. What's it matter, right, so long as there's a book for the throne? A pretty one, sure. But how many lives are worth one empress's arse? Ugh, that place. Should have just thrown in some bees and slammed the doors. I don't know. You want to stop a party? I think you go earwigs. <laughs> I hate those things, with their little pinchy butts. Josephine should add that to her paper threats. <laughs> Concessions, or we unleash the earwigs. <laughs> pinchy butts. Well, that was stupid. Want to go roll around until I feel better? Why are we even still talking? Good question. Shut it. Consider it, Lady Cassandra. The clerics are still sequestered. If no one steps forward, they will debate until... And you think I could make them agree? I've heard enough for one day, Mother Giselle. Talk to her, Your Worship. Is there a problem? It seems like she's bothering you. Mother Giselle is kind, and she means well. So, yes, she was. I assume you've heard that Leliana and I are both candidates to be the next divine. Because of what happened at Halam Shiral, of course, the Empire favors you. Thus, everyone close to you. So now the Chantry bandies our names about without even asking us first. How can you and Leliana be candidates? You're not even priests. It's not without precedent. Amara III was sister to the Emperor, and Galatea a commoner. Leliana and I were, at least, part of the Chantry hierarchy. It would be accepted. If they'll pick non-priests, why am I not a candidate? Because they don't know what you are, and they're frightened of you. A weight such as yours would break the Sunburst throne and tear the Chantry to pieces. I just don't know why they believe Leliana or I would be any better. If you don't want it, then tell them so. Surely it was never meant to be like this. The Chantry, the Circle of Magi, the Templars, this cannot be what they intended when it all began. The Chantry should provide faith, hope. Instead, it cannot veer from its course, even in the face of certain death. I'm surprised to hear you of all people say that. Oh? Am I not the same woman who declared the Inquisition against the Chantry's wishes? In all my years as a Seeker, I did what I was told. My faith demanded it. But now my faith demands something else. That I see with better eyes. The Chantry has failed, Cassandra. I'm not surprised a non-believer would say that. I wonder if the legions of faithful throughout Thedas would agree with you. Did you know Varric is Andrastian? Oh, he blasphemes with every second breath, but deep down he believes. His heart is virtuous. But he would never step foot in a Chantry. It should be the first place to which the virtuous turn. It needs to change. Perhaps I must be the one to change it.
You're not the only candidate. What about Liliana? Liliana says she wishes to follow Justinia's legacy. But she and I remember a different person. Justinia knew her fellow clerics and the people would only accept so much change. Liliana would cast it all aside and start over, I think. And that would be chaos for us all. What would you change about the Chantry? The Circle of Magi has its place, but it needs reform. Let the mages govern themselves with our help. Let the Templars stand not as the jailers of mages, but as protectors of the innocent. We must be vigilant, but we must also be compassionate to all peoples of Thedas, human or no. That is what I would change. Your determination is admirable. I do nothing that is not worth doing with all my heart. It's your most attractive trait. I have influence, and I can use it to help the Chantry make up its mind. I cannot ask you to do that. You don't have to. If you think that is the right thing to do, then thank you. I suppose I should not be so concerned. The clerics speak my name for now, nothing more. For now, restoring order and stopping Corypheus remain our priority. It's good to see you. So, you're a candidate for Divine now? So I am informed. Is that something you actually want? Why should what I want matter? Why shouldn't it matter? Don't you have the right to be happy? It is very simple. The Chantry needs to survive. To do that, it must change. I have never believed in asking another to do what you are unwilling to do yourself. So I look upon this as an opportunity. I owe it to myself and all of Thedas to seek the Sunburst throne. I think you'd make an excellent choice. Thank you. Let's hope the Chantry clerics agree. I want to talk to you about the cure for tranquility. It's not a cure. Not truly. Mages who were once tranquil lose all control over their emotions. They become irrational, unable to focus. Perhaps that state eventually passes and they can be helped, but it will take time to investigate. But you are going to look into it. That is my intent. I would not want news of a cure to spread until we know for certain we can help these people. Once we have that, however, then I will spread the word myself. That's enough for now. Another time, then. There are spirits hovering by the veil to observe the thrones of powerful nations. The machinations, betrayals. After our time in Halam Shirao, I understand why. I had forgotten how I missed court intrigue. You miss court intrigue? When were you at court? Oh, well, never directly, of course. An elven apostate is rarely invited to speak with empresses and kings. But, from the Fade, I have watched dynasties form and empires crumble. It is sometimes savage, sometimes noble, and always fascinating. In any event, Selene should now be a steadfast ally, especially after helping her neutralize Briala. I hope you know that I didn't turn over Briala lightly. If I'd had another option... What? Why would I disapprove of... Oh. 
Because we're both elves. I'm sorry. I was confused. I do not consider myself to have much in common with the elves. You are an elf, and a powerful mage as well. Have you ever considered trying to help your people? How? By attacking Orlesian nobles? Should I skulk around the Dales, mourning my lost heritage? I joined the Inquisition to save the world. Regardless of who my people are, this was the best way to help them. As for the elves of Orlais, Brianna did what she could. She was an admirable woman, even if her gambit failed. Even if we couldn't help Briala, I hope we can make life better for Orlesian elves. Stop Corypheus. That will do for a start. It speaks well of you to feel for the oppressed. Help them for that. Know them for what they are, instead of just seeing a pair of pointed ears. Business, the Winter Palace. You saved an empress, and now she's eating out of your hand. Perfect mental image. All this dancing, politics, and murder ah, makes me a bit homesick. That's something you'd like to do more often, then. Watch as you twist an entire empire around your little finger. Yes, please. Of course, that leaves only to Winter, and it wouldn't work as well there. No. Why not? Our dances are so much more intense. If an evening lacks a murder, we sniff and call it a ball. I hope you tried the ham they were serving, by the way. It tasted of despair. It's fascinating. So it's true. Some look to Cassandra or even me as Justinia's successor. I never thought the idea would gain momentum. Of course, with the other candidates out of the picture... Is becoming divine something you really want? <laughs> when Justinia was alive, I would have laughed at anyone who even suggested that I could be her successor. Things have changed. Still... I don't know. Restoring the Chantry will be like trying to steer a sinking vessel through a storm. Whoever becomes divine will have my support if she requires it. And I'm sure whoever becomes divine will absolutely require the Inquisition's backing. The Chantry is faltering, but it still has influence over the people. Who tells the people what's right? Who do they look to in times of peril? A divine with enough support can change the Chantry. And with it, Thedas. But this is a discussion for later. If Corypheus wins, Finding a new divine will be the least of our problems. A message from Divine Justinia. Dead people usually don't send messages. And I see you feel it necessary to inform me of this. This message was written months, perhaps even years ago, to be delivered to me if she died. I've heard of such contingency plans. A sudden death often leaves loose ends. I'm to go to Valence, a small village on the waking sea. There is something hidden there. Do you know what you're looking for? The Divine was a powerful woman, who used her position to obtain all sorts of things. Whatever she hid in Valence would very likely benefit the Inquisition, and must be kept from falling into the wrong hands. 
If I'm lucky, she will have instructions for me. You take your instructions from me. What sort of help can a dead divine give you? I don't know. Perhaps something to do with a Chantry. Or it could be personal. She guided me for many years, Inquisitor, as a divine and as a friend. There are days when I still look to her for advice, only to remember that I am alone. Why hide things in Valence? What's so special about it? Justinia was revered mother at the Chantry there for many years before she became the Divine. It is a place that holds great meaning for her. Is this you asking permission to leave for a bit? Well, yes. I can't imagine I'll be away from my post for very long. And I was hoping you would agree to come with me. Will you at least consider it? One more thing. If what is hidden in Valence is as valuable as I think, we're not going to be the only ones looking for it. I shall meet you at the Chantry in Valence. Try not to delay. First, this wasn't my idea. It is an issue born of titles and heir apparency and... <sighs> Halam Shiral is having difficulty freeing trade routes formerly controlled by Duchess Florian. Had she been tried, her assets would be forfeit and considerable bureaucracy avoided. So they ask that we judge her. This is supposed to make sense. I'm judging a box. That was the time allotted for rebuttal. Her crimes negated any claim to... <sighs> Forgive me, there is an odor. <clears throat> I call for rehabilitation. The skull shall do public theater about the evils of evil. I also judge the box. End table for orphans. That's quite enough, Inquisitor. Point taken. <laughs> ah! So shall it ever be.